Hi, Perry, Taylor Sound, tip of the day. The tip today is the difference between uh, a speaker cable and an instrument cable. And just by looking at them, sometimes you can tell the difference. Um, this one doesn't actually say speaker cable on it, but a lot of times speaker cables are a little thicker. And that's because they have two um, thicker wires in it because they are for low Z, which low Z means it's putting out more current than high Z. Now this instrument cable, it has a smaller uh, copper wire in it and it's also shielded. Now if you think about a guitar, a guitar has a basically a pickup, unless you have an active pickup, and even act active pickups are not putting out very much signal. It's called a high Z signal. And it's also, instrument cables are shielded because inside, because the, the cable or the wire is so small, um, if you don't shield it, then you literally get all different kinds of electro interference. Like you can have radio waves coming through the speaker or coming through the instrument cable and all that. So. And the reason why um, you don't want to use an instrument cable for your speaker cabinet is because the, the wire is, is so small, it can't handle the amount of current that's coming out of a 100 watt amp. You know, you're putting just a, a pickup through this, uh, an instrument cable, and you're put, putting a, you know, wattage, you know, whether it be a 20 watt amp or an 800 watt amp. Um, these wires inside here are thicker and they're not shielded because they don't need because uh, there's so much current going through and so fast it doesn't really uh, matter to have them shielded so and, you, and if you put an instrument cable in here you, you risk damaging both the head and the, the speaker cabinet so hopefully that explains the difference and you'll know now why to always use speaker cable um, in, uh, when you have a cabinet and a head uh, on an amp. So rock on!